it's been a while I've been around the globe it is Ken OJ on your TV screen again and you all know on Passion Trend on Night African TV I always get to bring the finest sweetest at all of the all of the gist to your table okay guys so it's TVFW third edition you saw me on the first second third and this is the fourth one and this time around we are somewhere somewhere in Lagos we're always in Lagos yeah I know right but this is some other kind of beach we'll find out so I have three designers on ground and their ways are looking so Magnificent. Okay, and a lot of models on ground, a lot of people. Oh my god, I'm just liking the serenity, the environment is cool. So guys, follow me. Let's see how it goes. Like. Hey darling, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. What's your name? Rumatu Bloba. Wow, what does that mean? God is great. God is great. Oh yeah, go on, news. Let's talk about God is great. Oh yeah, new dad. New dad, new dad, yeah. How many? No, you have to shout it. Okay. God, you are great! Again. God, you are great! Anyways, you just have to be crazy when you're around me. I'm like that. So, how has the fashion business been so far for you? It's been fabulous. Okay. So, what inspires you? What's your breath in in fashion? Anyway, I don't know what inspired me, but I just love pictures. How long have you been doing fashion? Mm, like one year. Okay, guys. In case you don't know, she's still wearing San Africa. Sun Africa collection, Sun Africa, Sun Africa, Sun Africa, Sun Africa. And I just have you at the back of my house, like I just wear you every day. Please, can you turn around just slowly? Yes, gorgeously. Oh, that's so sweet. And she's actually a very pretty girl. But the guys at home, you see, when we call for, mm -mm, don't worry, you know what we will do. Okay, babe, I have a very, very interesting question for you. It's going to get interesting. I got my guest saw, so, but the question is. Have you ever entered Mallware before? Mallware? Mm, no. Okay, but we've heard of Mallware in Lagos State. Yes. I guess it's spell Mallware for me. <laughs> M O L U W E. Okay, I don't know if she got it right. I'm not going to say this now, but if you want to know if she got it right, make sure you just go down. What you see here, you, you know, you know how we do it. All right, high five. No, thank you. <sighs> Yeah, that's me. Okay, guys, it's the OJ on your TV screen. I'm trying to have some fun. I hope you're watching at home, you're having some fun too. So let's get it go. Let's get it go. Let's okay, guys, I told you you were going to see a lot of gorgeous and beautiful people. Oh my god. This is breathtaking. How are you, darling? I'm very well, thank you. I love the fact that you are a low cut head natural and it's it's really rare for girls these days. So, what's inspiring this? Um, I just love looking different. Yeah, indeed. Part of me. What's your name? Annie. Annie. Annie, where are you from? I'm from Enugu State. Okay, how long have you been modeling? Two years. Okay, how has it been for you so far? Mm, it has not been easy. Okay. Because, you know, how it is in the industry, you have to push it. Like, you have to know people that know people okay. before you get jobs. But, but so, how did you hear about TBFW? I uh, actually heard it from the organizer, uh, Miss Victoria. Okay. We've done job together before, so she told me about it. So, what is the most exciting moment here for you today? Wearing different designs. Now people be like, I love taking pictures. It's okay, so this is your number what clothes? <laughs> I can't even count. Okay, which of, which of it? Six or so, I don't know. Okay, which of it has blown your mind so far? I love this one I'm wearing. It's perfect. Okay, do a turn for me. Do a 360 turn. Uh, uh, I love it. Just <laughs> no, I'm sorry, you can't take it home. High five. <laughs> okay, guys, so keep watching Fashion Trend on Nat African TV. We're going on a short commercial break. And when we return, I'm going to blind your eyes. It's, trust me, we love beautiful and gorgeous stars and different people. Bye for now. And I remind you a humble host. Yeah, I'm humble. AKA Mr. Gorgeous. AKA Mr. Generous. AKA Tush Bororo. AKA Man About Town. It's your guy, KOJ. <laughs> Hi, Gorgeous. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, what are you? Like, you don't want to talk? Are you shy of the mic or something? I'm not shy of the mic. Okay, so why are you not going to be shy of the mic? Are you just one guy just fucking you and asking you questions and then you're like, and you're not shy? There's no reason for me to be shy. Okay, so how have it been for you so far today? I'm very fine. Okay, so what is inspiring you to be, what inspired you to come for this show today? Mm, the TV show. Okay. I want to, I want everybody to see me, I'm modeling clothes. Okay, so how long have you been modeling? This is my first time. Oh, really? Okay, give me a high five. Yeah, welcome to the club. Okay, so now, what has inspired you to 
think about being a model or want a model for people? Mm, like, uh, okay. Just like, I like the dress. I like wearing dress. Okay. I like outfits because of my shape. Okay. So, <laughs> that was the spine mode. Just your shape. Okay, please, can you show the camera your shape? Camera, please, can you see her shape? Okay, so all the guys around, if you need to see her, you need to get to me first. Trust me. Like, okay, I'm not doing, we're not doing Valentina any other business here. So let's get straight to fashion. So what is fashion for you? When you hear the word fashion, what do you think? What do you speak fashion? Fashion is just like, mm, like okay, normally it's a dress. Okay. Like outing. <laughs> okay, I think she's very shy, guys. But anyway, she looks gorgeous. I know some gorgeous girls don't like to talk on camera because they're shy. Let's move on. Thank you. I just have to go straight. This is Miss Victoria Okay, The reason why we are here, the CEO of CBFW. We've been first year, second year, third year. And this is our fourth edition. Ash, let's try to push. Let's. let's okay, push like forward. push. So I want to ask you a question. We've been seeing TBFW, we've been hearing TBFW. Please, can you tell us what TBFW means and what inspired the name TBFW? Oh, TBFW, that's T Beauty and Fashion Word. Mm. The T on its own stands for testimony, which <laughs> is actually my beauty okay. line name. That's testimony. But I just had to cut this shirt like T Beauty and Fashion Word. Okay. So the fashion is for the masses okay. and the beauty is for us. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying now? <laughs> So that's what I brought about the TV and fashion world. So, but then what inspired you? Like, you could actually have a name like Saint Diamond, Fashion World, Gabri and Gilibri and all of those things. So, what, what inspired you to use? Because the name sounds very nice. And what, what was the source of the inspiration for that name? Uh, T Beauty. The source of inspiration. My name is Testimony. Testimony. <laughs> testimony. <laughs> I have to give testimony all the time. My life basically is a testimony. So, okay. So, now I'm sorry, how many years have you been running this business now? TBF is two years old this year. Okay. We marked our one year anniversary last year, so okay. we are two years now. But we've done exhibition like a couple of times. Yeah, so and it's, you know. So what is that drive that's, that has been in you? What is that drive? Don't give up in whatsoever you are doing, even if it's not producing money, okay. even if it's not giving you what you feel, but you know that you, have, you feel happy doing what, whatever you love doing. Keep doing it and don't give up. I have a question for you here. This is the question. Can you tell us the most embarrassing moment of your life? Mm. It was when a client told me to do makeup on her face and that day I was actually confused because she's actually a big star and that was actually my first time of working with her. I was supposed to use an hand sanitizer on my hands I just finished with, other, with another client, so you know what I did was I just took the makeup brush, took the makeup tools like that and started touching and I was like, excuse me, don't, 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 don't touch me, you need to wash your hands, you need to use it. I felt so embarrassed and ever since then I, I learned my lesson, whenever I want to use or do makeup on any clients, I'll just do it. So when you have a tough client, how do you treat them? When you have a tough client that is rude and has um, a lot of... Oh, okay, when I have a, little, a tough client, what I do is, first of all, I smile. You know, when you smile, you are welcoming the person. That's the first thing. You get to understand who that person is. That you get to study your clients before you start attending to them, or before you start working on them, rather. You have to study them. So what I do is I'll just observe them, smile, and... Oh, 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 oh.